The Minnesota Department of Natural Resources has released the results of the 2023 aerial moose study, and it shows a relatively stable population. The survey is done in cooperation with Chippewa tribes in northeastern Minnesota and the 1854 Treaty Authority. Here with more on the survey is Mike Schrage, wildlife biologist with the Fond du Lac Bands Resource Management Division. Mike, thank you so very much for being here tonight. I don't know of a more majestic animal than the moose. What's that population like here in Minnesota? Um, so it's been fairly stable over the last eight to ten years. We estimate between three and four thousand animals. And they've been uh, declining a little bit over the years? If we go back further in time to uh, oh, late, late 1990s, early 2000s, we probably had twice as many moose as we not have now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the population has come down quite a bit. Um, our forests have gotten older. Habitat maybe is not as good for moose as it used to be. Other factors, predation, disease, parasite, sure. have probably all contributed. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about how the survey is conducted. Uh, so we have uh, a crew of two crews of three people, a pilot, two observers, um, use two helicopters. Um, we're generally flying at uh, 250 to 300 feet above the ground when we're on our survey transects, um, 50 to 55 knots. Uh, we're, we're flying rectangular survey plots that are about 13 square miles in size. Um, and we're flying a transect line down the plot and then uh, turn around and come back uh, on another transect line. The lines are about a third of a mile apart and that allows us to see most of the distance in between the line. Um, yeah, and uh, recording data on a, a laptop computer uh, with a GIS based program as we're flying. So we have you know, real time dot on the map mm -hmm. where we see the moose when we when we see a moose or mooses many moose <laughs> that we we're spinning circles around them um, trying to determine are they bulls or cows some of the bulls still have antlers sure. some don't at that time of year uh, bulls cows are there calves with them how many moose are there um, we're also collecting some other data that helps us account for moose that are probably out there but that we miss seeing during our survey Mike can yeah. you determine how long a moose generally lives um, we, we have from other s studies, um, I, I think we've had cows that, that I know that have been as old as 20 years old, uh, one bull that was 16 years old. Uh, most moose in Minnesota don't get past 13, 14, 15 years old. Mm -hmm. yeah. You mentioned before we went on the air that the survey was one of your favorite times of the year. Mm -hmm. um, talk about that that experience and the excitement of being out there and, and spotting you're, one. You're flying low and fast over the <laughs> trees. I mean, it, that's just an adrenaline rush. Um, you know, you're, seeing things from the air is just a completely different perspective than seeing them on the ground. Um, you know, I, you fly over lakes that, oh, hey, I remember canoeing there this last summer, and now you're seeing it from the air. Um, it, yeah, and you're seeing moose, and, and in some places you're seeing a lot of moose, and they said moose are just a cool animal. It's a lot of fun, and, and we see other things from time to time. We see wolves, deer. We've seen lynx a couple of times. It's just otter. It's, it's just fun. Just where is the most heavily populated moose range? You know, it, it can vary, um, and, and over time there have been changes. Uh, consistently, Cook County tends to produce a lot of the, mm -hmm. the moose, or maybe the highest densities. Um, but we also see moose congregating in areas um, such as some of these big fires that have happened. Uh, moose like fire um, they they like the young forest that comes up after a fire and plenty to eat there huh? yes plenty to eat there and and you know moose are a thousand pound animal they need to eat a lot so um yeah so we we often see moose in areas that have burned in in recent years yeah certainly they're iconic animals in minnesota but why else would they be important to to really have a a healthy moose population. Oh, yeah, certainly iconic. You know, they're also important for tribal members. Mm -hmm. um, it's moose, moose, and moose hunting are important part of tribal sure. culture. Um, 
you know, I, they're kind of an indicator species for our northern forests. Um, in Minnesota, moose are towards the south end of their, their range around the world. Um, you know, they're more of a northern animal. And um, I, I think moose are an indication um, over time of how our northern forests, our northern ecosystems are doing. Mm -hmm. On average, how many calves are born a year in Minnesota? Any idea? Um, you know, mo most adult cow moose get pregnant, um, but and and have one or two calves. Um, predation rates on moose calves are pretty high. Well, they are. Yes, um, wolves and bears take take most of the moose calves. Uh, disease parasites get a number of them as well. There's accidents, um, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so. Pregnancy rates are good, um, but predation rates are high, and that that is slowed um, growth of the moose herd. Sure. Yeah. We only have about 30 seconds left, but how is the information used once you get all of this data together? Mm -hmm. So it's it's an indication to wildlife managers as to how the moose population are doing. Not you know not just how many animals are out there, but you know what is the percentage of calves that we see in in midwinter? How you know bull cow ratios, other population metrics that we can use to help gauge the health of the moose herd and also how they're distributed on the landscape. Wildlife mm -hmm. biologist Mike Schrage. Thanks, Mike, for being here tonight. You bet. Great Thank conversation. You. Thank you. Thank you.